Well, switching gears now, joining us now is Peter Shu, president of the Northeast Wisconsin Woodworkers Guild. Thank you for being here, Peter. Thanks for having me. And you guys have a big event coming up. Tell me about it. Yeah, we have our annual 30, uh, the 35th show coming up this weekend at Southwest High School. Hours are 9.30 till 5. And uh, we're, the public is welcome. We got free parking, free admission. We just ask that they buy some raffle tickets to help pay for the cost of the show. And when we talk about woodworking, I think people would be amazed to see all the different types there are out there. And we have some on display. Um, let's start with this one. What type of woodworking is this? Okay, and this, this is an example of scroll sawing and what you could do on that. It's just a simple pattern, but it's, it's a good example. Uh, this is a little box that's done on a bandsaw, all naturally colored woods. There's no dyes added on that. And that is, that is crazy that you can get that much detail. Um, you know, what do you love about looking at projects like this. You get to be creative and make, make up your own patterns and see what you like to do. And I know so. everybody has use for um, a salad bowl or a pasta yep. bowl. What, you know, tell us about this. Yep, that's a salad bowl. These are handcrafted spoons by one of our members. And this is just, uh, like I said, a salad bowl with a little basket weave pattern on the outside. And that's beautiful. Yep, this is a segmented pepper mill, they call it, with the different uh, colors coming through. And it is an example of another beaded bowl and it's painted colors on there, permanent dyes to, to get the pattern. And this is a little hand scoop that one of the people carved and did a little wow. brass embellishment inside. Now this, a lot of this is, it's all handmade. It is, yep. yep. Everybody has a different thing that they like to do. We have people that do intarsia and scroll sawing and wood lathe and wood carving. We have people that do some real nice carvings and stuff, so. It's a real talented group from novice to ex expert, really. And it's really beautiful. I think people would be amazed that you can do this with your hands. It's a, it's a great art. Mm -hmm. it takes a little practice, but that's why, what's the guild. It's a lot of education. We've got a big library with almost every topic that you'd be interested in. So we're always looking for new members, men and women, young and old. And if people come out to this event at the high school this weekend, they can, they can learn more about your group? They can. Everybody's willing to share how they made things and, and why they did it like they did, and they'll be talking for eight hours. So. And so again, it's at Southwest High School? Southwest High School this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, and there's free parking, which is nice. Right. Thank you so much for being here, Peter. It's great, yeah. and we hope you can get get out there for this event. We have more information on when and where you can be at Southwest High School to learn all about these beautiful carvings. Just head to NBC26.com.